Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasan427. Actually, today, what's they come here to talk about is actually Logan Paul and Cody Rhodes. And they actually did this, this is the contract signing actually on SmackDown. And we got confirmed we all done. Now, last week it was just kind of weird because it was like, it's a title for title, or they just put one title up, which that's what I thought. But then it was like, wait a minute, it's title for title. Cody Rhodes tweeting out two belts. He's going to be a dual champion. And for me, I just felt like, what's the point of putting a U.S. title on him? And then he would have to lose it. And then it's like, you have him lose for what reason? He's only lost like three times. So you have him lose for what reason? Put another title on that somebody else could use. If you're going to have Look Apart drop the title, give it to L.A. Knight, who just lost on SmackDown. And I don't know what they're doing with L.A. Knight, but that's a whole nother thing. But you could give it to somebody else, so why do that? And I have no problem with doing the champion versus champion. I don't, some people have an issue with it, and it's an issue for people. I really don't know why they don't really want, I mean, I guess if you don't really want to see the match, and I understand that, but it's like, I think this is fine for King and Queen of the Ring. It's about the King and Queen of the Ring. It's not about the world title. It's like the Royal Rumble. Like, you can literally have anybody fight anybody because the Royal Rumble is what sells the pay-per-view. This is the, the tournament is going to sell the pay-per-view. They even don't, they only doing the finals, but that's what the pay-per-view is about. It's not about the championship. It's about the king and queen of the rank. Now, I don't know if they're going to do lead in the class of the castle because I believe it's only like, what, two or three weeks after this because it's June 15th. This is May 25th, June 15th. It's like two and a half weeks, three weeks, something like that. So it's not even a full thing what they actually do with building up to that pay-per-view. But with this, and I don't think the world title will even be defended at King and the Queen in the ring. So that doesn't even matter. But of course, they're going to have Cody on the show. He's on a poster. And I mean, he's the biggest star. He's going to be on every single pay-per-view. I doubt he misses a pay-per-view. But someone like Damian Priest, who doesn't need to work every pay-per-view. And this is a pay-per-view where they don't really need it. It basically got the whole card stacked already, to be completely honest. But with actually this, and we got what, the, what we... Thought we were going to get with what, uh, what I thought we were going to get. I never thought it would be title for title, but this makes sense. And of course, Cody is going to win. Now, if they did title for title, they could have went one or two ways. Put both titles on Cody, or a lot of people thought. So, I think somebody commented on uh, the video I posted. They said they could do a double DQ, which I really don't like that. But I mean, that is an option for you. Because you could build up the match like, oh, which one of these guys are going to, which Cody is the one who's going to win. But which one of these guys are going to win both championships? Because somebody got to be winning, then you do a double DQ like that. I don't know the way they did it was perfectly fine with him pulling out another contract and everything like that. But with this only being for one title now, it completely makes sense. They've done this plenty of times before. We did it with Jeff Hardy at Royal Rumble 2008 against Randy Orton. And Diesel did it against Bret Hart. Um, it took a bunch of different times where somebody actually was the mid-card champion. And then they went after the world champion. Like I said before in my last video, because think about the world champion. I mean, he, he's always want more championships, but it's like, that's not really what he has. He has the number one championship, so he doesn't need that. Now, this guy, he's, he makes sense for him to have a championship and go after another championship because he's a mid-card champion. And then he wants to move up the ranks and get to that world title spot and get to that world and get to the world championship. But yeah, I think this makes perfect sense right here. I'm excited for the match. The match will be great. Uh, I guess I can understand why people aren't excited for it and aren't really looking forward to it. I mean, is this the number one? I mean, this is something that was going to happen. Because, I mean, you look at the SmackDown Raw, it's just like, how many guys can you actually fight? And you look at, I don't know what he's done for SummerSlam or anything like that. He's not doing Randy Orton. He's only doing Randy Orton at a SummerSlam or WrestleMania. That's the only time now. They can have a few that spans out months, and then they fight at the B-level pay-per-views. But that, that man, first match is going to happen at SummerSlam or WrestleMania. You're not going to do it at any of these pay-per-views, even though King Queen Wayne, Vince Saudi is a big show. But no, you're not going to do it unless it's a SummerSlam or WrestleMania. So it's like, how many people can you actually face at, you know, on SmackDown? And he still has, after this show, he still has two more pay-per-views before he gets to SummerSlam. Now, the speculation is that he's going to fight The Rock, but then the speculation that he's going to fight The Rock at next year's Mania, which is very interesting to see if, if they drag it out all the way until next year's WrestleMania. Because then what do you do with Roman? Does he fight seven? That's a, that's a whole nother thing. But yeah, you definitely have to prolong this. And they could have another match between these two. Now, I don't think they will. Because to be honest, if they do another match between these two, you, at that point, you kind of have to do title for title because Cody is going to beat Logan and 
they're just gonna do it again where it's only for one championship. So I think this is a one-off match. I do think Cody moves on to who does he fight at Classic Castle? I mean, it could be anybody on that roster. It could be a trade or a move, something like that. But it could be anything that's going on. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. I think this makes perfect sense that it's only for one championship. Tell me if you wanted to be for two championships. Tell me if you wanted to be for no championships. Because at, for at one point, I thought it would be for no titles. I thought it was just a champion versus champion match. And they were just going to do it. And then that would make sense if they want to do multiple matches with that. But like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.